Hi guys, my name is Biri Leah. I live now in the UK, that is the southwest part of England. I just relocated last year uh, in 2022. Yeah, and I'm here in the UK and guys it's becoming warmer. Yeah, each day that passes by, it's like we are approaching summer. But weather patterns here yeah, are so pathetic, I would say so. Yeah, they change so fast. Yeah, so I'm so happy, guys, that you joined me. So today's video is about clinical officers. Okay, what you need to know about clinical officers' location to the UK, what roles, what titles you can have in order to practice here in the uk so i come from zambia yeah zambia how are you i really miss my country i miss my friends i miss the food i miss that hot weather yeah i do actually i miss everything about my country i miss lusaka i miss those buildings malls i really miss them yeah i do so welcome to my channel guys before i go in further Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe for further details, for more updates from me, okay? I'll be sharing videos on how to relocate to UK as a healthcare professional. Yeah, so guys, join me throughout, okay? Subscribe, guys, subscribe. As people may know me, I do a lot of videos, a lot of lessons. I teach people, uh, OET, OSCE, I your CBT, all that, okay? I'm a nurse by profession and I came to work in the UK as an anesthetic nurse, yeah. So I'm so happy I passed my OSCE, I passed my anesthesia transition program in the UK. So all these guys is so big to me and I'm so happy that I was able to do that. So let's talk about the clinical officers what can clinical officers do these people do a lot of things in other countries they call them physician assistants they're able to diagnose the condition they're able to prescribe medicines they're able to suture they're able to you know help out doctors they, they do a lot of things they're not doctors but they're clinical officers or they're uh, clinical medical personnel i don't know really in other countries how they call them but that's how they are called in my country, Zambia, yeah? So now I'm in the UK and I was able to meet a few friends who've told me how they relocated to the UK as such. And I discovered that clinical officers have got a wider range of options they can choose from, okay? You are even lucky, guys. You are very lucky because there are a lot of titles you can obtain in the UK. Mm-hmm. A lot of titles. So... If this video is suitable for you, for your family, for your friends, kindly invite them over, okay? I will send this video everywhere. Feel free, okay? And I'm just here to share some information on how a COG can relocate from Zambia to UK, yeah? So let's get started. Clinical officers, can you re can relocate to UK? as a healthcare assistant mm -hmm. so if you want to come on that route that's fine okay but when you want to come as a healthcare assistant that's not a profession so i would encourage you to come as a profession but if that's all you can have you don't have means to support yourself during this uh registration processes you don't have money because guys you need money as a requirement huh i'm going to talk about requirements yeah so you need money in order for you to be fully registered under this regulatory body that help out clinicians to come to the uk there are nurses also who come to uk as healthcare assistants that's so respectful all right yeah so what we need to do now is um talk about how you can come as a profession so if you have means on how you can come to uk as such that's also cool all right that's very good of you it's, it just seems like you it just looks like you have some alternative to something that's plan a so you have plan b plan b is to come with your credentials ensure that you have your certificates you have your 
credentials everything your passport everything you have everything at hand your english if you have that's also cool um, and that's english if you want to register under hcpc it should be above 6.5 6 6.5 or above that's also cool yeah so clinical officers can come to uk as clinical scientists mm, you heard me right so there's a protected role for you and this title you can have it as long as you are under hcpc z you can have this role by the way guys i'll be uh, using my phone and I'll be looking down for further information. Okay. I just jotted down some few things Okay, so let's talk about this uh, same H CPC, so I'll be pronouncing H as such Instead of H because in the UK that's how they pronounce it anyway, and I'm getting used to that so health and care professions council known as HCPC usually regulates 15 professions okay it's a list so what i want you to do is research mm -hmm. so do your research and ensure that you have everything at hand all right yeah so you can actually have uh this role as a clinical scientist that's okay just read more about it what roles are there and if at all you qualify as I said earlier on, for you to qualify, you need to have your um, your credential as being a clinical officer. You also need uh, a license. That regulatory body, you know, your license needs to come from the uh, HPCZ, okay? I hope I am pronouncing it well. So another title you can have as a clinical officer is a operating department practitioner. So this role is specifically for those who've done anesthesia. Hear me right, guys. If you've done anesthesia and you're a clinical officer, this is your role. Hmm. Yeah, this is your role. So clinical officer anesthetic or clinical officer anesthetist. You can come here and work as ODPs. So this is just ODP. Theater practitioners, operating department practitioners. All right, so this is your role you can do from Zambia to here. All you need to do is register with the HCPC UK, and you're good to go. That's all, guys. That's all. Another role you can have as a clinical officer is a paramedic. This role again is a high specialized role. So clinical officer anesthetist. Can come using this route hear me well guys hear me well okay those clinical officers from Zambia who have done anesthesia can be a paramedic in the UK mm-hmm so I don't know how your certificate is called guys I really worked hard for this information in order for me to give you this it took about two months to have this information guys I did a lot of research about this and do your own as well and start registering now. So if you are a CEO anesthetist or clinical officer anesthetic, this is your role. You can come here as a paramedic. You can come here as ODP, operating practitioner, uh, operating department practitioner. All right. Yeah. So you can come as such as well. And by and paramedics usually start on band six. This is a very big role. They 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 really look um, at patients' airways and how to manage any condition relating to the airway. So they do a lot of airway management. They do um, supra supra glottic um, airway management. Yeah, they also do a lot of. Um, cannulations a lot of uh prescribing so there's a lot on the paramedic part and you need to be highly specialized and you're ready for this role it's a very good role very good so if you're a clinical officer anesthetic this is your role mm -hmm. register under hcpc uk and also another um role a CEO can do is um, a practitioner psychologist those skin courses who've done mental health this is your role and under practitioner
practitioner psychologist guys there are a lot there are about nine roles they are lined they were all lined up guys you can take a look at that so what i want to you to do right now is to go on the hcpc page and read about these rules read about the requirements and start the registration now yeah are we together guys zambians they say that we don't like sharing information once we are in the uk and yet i'm here sharing some information guys kindly hear me out okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm with your friend yeah so guys i want to share some free information free of charge as a seawall you can look at the uk using all those uh type of titles as simple as that okay yeah let me talk about um something else radiographers biomedical scientists okay hearing and dispensers dietitians um speech and language therapy